Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, March 23rd, 2012. Well, not so fast, say some former insurance regulators, to John Paulson's apparently successful effort to get the Hartford Insurance Company to split up. According to some comments made today to Bloomberg News, former top New Jersey insurance regulator Tom Considine, for example, says that Hartford can't make that decision to split in a vacuum without regulatory input. Considine said, well, sometimes masters of the universe don't realize that regulators really do have the ability to say no. He said, speaking of the property and casualty business, spinning off the P&C business and leaving a less vibrant part behind would be closely scrutinized. He said a spin-off would likely take at least a year to close and would be judged by regulators on numbers at that time, not on today's numbers. Former regulators say that the issue isn't Hartford's financial health this year or next, rather it's long term and it has to do with policyholders. The obligations that the insurer had assumed in its annuities business are just beginning to come home to roost as many people are beginning to retire, baby boomers in particular. Thomas Sullivan, who formerly was the insurance commissioner in Connecticut, said that a spin-off would be viewed with, quote, a jaundiced eye. The current head of the insurance department, Tom Leonardi, said policyholder protection is paramount. Interesting there. Allianz, the biggest insurer in Europe, expects 2012 to be no less challenging than last year. This is according to CEO Michael Dykman. Mr. Dykman reiterated a target that Allianz set last month for an operating profit of up to 8.7 billion euros this year, compared with about 7.8 billion euros for 2011. But he also said he does not expect a strong boost from the market in the U.S. as early as 2012. Aon is making some news today. They've uh, released some numbers about uh, the property rates in Australia and New Zealand. They said that insurance buyers in both countries expect to be hit by further average property premium increases of up to 14%. They also warned that many New Zealand buyers may have to pay even more for their insurance coverage, with many risk managers' predictions for this year not representative of the current environment. Aon said that on average, respondents in New Zealand had already reported increases last year of up to 19%, while in Australia, they reported average increases of up to 8%. Aon said that they can expect them to go up by possibly as much as 10 and 13% respectively. The CEO of Willis, Joe Plameri, made a speech in Philadelphia yesterday in which he warned insurers that uh, global warming is what's going to be keeping them up at night with the claims that are expected to come from rising sea levels and crop damage as the world continues to warm. The London syndicate Omega settled a long-running legal dispute with its former CEO Richard Tolliday just moments before the case was due to be heard. The compensation case brought by Tolliday was due to be heard in London at uh, a court at 10.30 a.m. yesterday and just five minutes before Omega and Tolliday agreed to a settlement in which Omega would pay an undisclosed sum to the man who had headed the company since 2002. It had emerged that Tolliday would have been in line for a $6.5 million windfall if his suit had been successful. Here's a story by Greg Doby in Insurance Day saying that global insurers' annual spending on information technology will hit about $141 billion this year, more than either banks or investment firms. About 56% of that will be dedicated to maintenance. The biggest earthquake in 15 years hit central Australia today. It was a 6.1. It was about 180 miles southwest of Alex, Alice Springs. It uh, did no damage from what we can tell now. It was felt as far away as 300 miles. Lehman Brothers is looking to sell its Bermuda reinsurance arm for $14 million. The Bermuda unit is seeking a bankruptcy court approval to close the sale of its Congress life insurance as part of the wind down of Lehman Re that's being overseen by Bermuda courts. Records indicate that Tennessee Farmers Life Insurance Company is the buyer in the deal. They want to purchase it for $14 million. And the notorious Exxon Valdez tanker, which was responsible for the big oil spill up in Alaska in 1989, is now uh, hitting the rocks. 
It's being dragged to Gujarat in India. It's been purchased by the Best Oasis Company and most likely in the next six months is going to be dismantled for scrap on the beaches in Gujarat. That's the news for today. Have a good weekend. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching.